I'm learning a lot about you, Dr. Drake. Oh. Well, I'm sorry about that. Uh. You should be. You've got quite a reputation. In addition to a mean Roomba. Oh, yes. Well, all of those rumors are true. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't find a better neurosurgeon. I can already tell by his bedside manner and that sparkling smile. Seriously? Because that's pretty much the last thing I've ever been known for is my bedside manner. The boys just skate by my handsome good looks. Mm, and being humble. <laughs> Seriously, though. How do you feel about this? Okay with dying. I've been preparing for a while. But I am not interested in drooling or going blind or being incapable of asking for a glass of water. So, if this operation will allow some quality time, grab a scalpel. I guess it all depends on the odds of success. There are no guarantees. Oh, I'm not asking for guarantees. I just want Dr. Dimples to tell me I'm not going to wake up as a rutabaga. Well, I'm the best chance you have, sweetheart. Actually, I'm the only chance you have. Got it. Signed and sealed. This is a very uh, generous view. Uh, it's my pleasure. I've grown quite fond of Shirley. It's definitely the most challenging part of my job, having to refuse treatment. The next challenge is to keep the hospital solvent so we can serve the greatest number of patients. Dr. You Dr. saved me from having to make that choice. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And I'm sure having any sort of uh, gratitude towards me is difficult to swallow, <laughs> considering my situation with Elizabeth is a sore point with you. Just as I take exception to you interfering in our personal lives, but I respect the job that you do here at the hospital. And we're all lucky to have you. See you. Uh, are you going to need a ride to the airport? You know I might. I'll let you know later. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> okay, family mm. picnic. What's the occasion? Um, Daddy's leaving town, Princess. Oh, well, you've uh, been sticking around longer than usual. I thought you would start getting itchy soon. See how well she knows me? Does this have to do with Tracy? See? <laughs> yes, uh, as a matter of fact, it does. I think I need to give her a little time and space so she can remember how good we are together. Yeah, well, if you guys don't need me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slip into the star and nick a bottle of scotch for you for the road. What an excellent idea. I thought so. Wouldn't it be better if Tracy knew you were nearby? Um, no, not right now, baby. She, every time she sees me, she just, she remembers how pissed off she is with me. Okay, well, as a woman in love, I would be pretty pissed off with Dante if he bailed on me like you're doing with her. I'm not bailing on her. But we're not young lovers, baby. We, we're, we're a little, a little <laughs> worn out, to tell you the truth. And, uh, and our, our scars run deep. They take longer to heal. Mm. But thank you for the advice. Oh, like you ever listen to me anyway. How's your man? Exactly. Uh, hanging in. He's also dealing with a lot of Corinthos family dynamics, which sooner or later you're gonna get sucked into. I know, I know, but um, I'll be able to handle it as long as we're facing it together. I know it's not gonna be easy, but love is worth it. <laughs> you really are your own biggest fan. <laughs> I can keep this going as long as you can. Or until you just finally admit that I am irresistible. There is nothing worse than a guy who thinks he's all that and more. For, for the record, you came after me. Okay? Uh, whoa, you were the one who was hot for me from the beginning. There is nothing worse than a woman who thinks she is all that and more. Okay, just to clarify, I am using you so I can get Spinelli back. We're gonna make him jealous enough so that he gets out of his funk and fights for me. And how long till your non-husband wakes up? Uh, he is wide awake. When I saw him earlier today, he was back to his old self. Okay, so then you don't need me to make him jealous anymore. That's right. Then, uh... I guess I'll be seeing you around. Wait, I, um, can't just walk away from me. Well, you know, if your husband, non-husband, boyfriend is already jealous, then I'm free to just move on and find another woman who will appreciate me for my finer qualities. You would miss me, and you know it. Yeah, I'd get over it. Unless you don't want me to go. 
it's a simple question, really. Are you blowing me off or aren't you? I think maybe we should go out one more time so Spinelli doesn't backslide. It's your call, beautiful. I know you were really excited <laughs> to have Jason back, but I was thinking that maybe on his first night back, don't you think that maybe he's gonna wanna spend just a little bit of alone time with moi? Well, uh, of course. That's why I say that you're more than welcome to join us. I mean, Stone Cold trusts his lady love implicitly, so he won't mind her being privy to his vital financial interests. I've accomplished a complete restructuring and concert with the beneficent. That's nice. I'm sure he's going to be grateful. Oh, 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 wait. I have to remember to show Stone Cold the latest level of Saga Stone Cold that I completed in honor of his return. Saga. Oh, I think it's terrific that you've worked so hard on his homecoming, Spinelli. I'm sure he's going to appreciate it. I have to ask you to leave, Diane. We're about to have an ongoing discussion of the investigation, and you are not clear to participate. Oh, that's fine. But while you're talking about how to best use my client to lure Franco out into the open, bear in mind that your case rises or falls based on Jason's cooperation. So after Franco is apprehended, we're going to be expecting something a little more generous than Jason Morgan's going back to prison. Your client already agreed to the original terms of the plea bargain. Well, the circumstances have changed now, haven't they? I'll be outside. If you're having second thoughts, now's the time to speak up. I'm not. Good. So, the three photos Franco sent and addressed to Dante, Maxie, and Jocelyn Jacks were from three separate crime scenes. The inmate, Carter, who you allegedly killed, he and Franco were incarcerated together during Franco's one prison term. Franco and Carter are linked. Yeah, it seems so. So if you're tempted to handle Franco the way that you did with Carter, don't even think about it, Jason. You are bait only. You will not take Franco down. That's Dante's job. 